What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Rejoice Talks. Thanks for tuning in again. In case you're new to this channel, my name is Rejoice all the way from Ibadan, Oyo State. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, leave your comments, share with your friends and thumbs up. So today I'll be talking about causes of financial failure. You see, some of us have failed financially before in a way or the other. And if you haven't, I really want to say congratulations, congratulations, this is my golden handshake. You see, in life, there are no shortcuts when it comes to finance and life in general. Let me say that. You will never achieve financial success if you spend more than you earn. That is nothing but the simple, simple truth. If you spend more than you earn, you can never achieve financial success. So let's go straight to causes of financial failure. One of the major causes of financial failure is lack of ambition. You have to aim above mediocrity. You see, wealth doesn't simply appear at all. You have to work towards it with patience and persistence. The earlier, the better. It doesn't take too much time or let me say effort, but it requires action on your own part. A good starting point is to invest in your money into things that are profitable, into things that will yield. You see, a lot of people lack ambition and this will definitely cause financial failure. Number two, lack of knowledge. You see, reading books about financial affairs and wealth building will actually help, you know, it will help you to decide the best course of action for your financial matter. When you get to the point of where you think you know it all, you, or you are not open-minded to expand your financial horizon, you definitely you are destined to fail, and you will, you know, you will experience financial stagnation. To yield great reward, never be afraid to step out of your traditional way, like or traditional way of, of doing things. Leave your comfort zone with an open mind. Always seek for knowledge for a better way of doing things. This will actually help you to be successful financially. But when you think you know it all, I'm sorry to say, you are definitely destined to fail and you will definitely experience financial stagnation. Number three, you see, most people have failed to accumulate money for their needs because they are easily influenced by others' opinion. Sometimes, you know, your close friends or relatives can handicap you through discouraging and negative opinions. You have a brain and you have your the mind of your own. Use it and reach your own decision. Don't allow others' opinion to supersede that of yours, especially when it is not profitable or probably when it won't yield an interest. So it is very, very essential that you use your own brain and your own mind to reach your decisions. Number four, lack of self-discipline. Discipline comes through self-control. This means you must control all negative qualities because before you can control conditions, you must first control yourself. You need, you know, you need to save more, like spend less. Like spending less is simple concept, but spending less requires discipline. So you must discipline yourself. For you to experience financial success, you must learn to discipline yourself very well. Number five, procrastination. One of the most common causes of failure is procrastination. Or let me say, waiting for the right time. Start where you are or where you are standing presently. Work with, the, with whatever tools you have at your command. And better tools will find you as you you know as you go in that journey but waiting for the right time at uh, the right time might not come yeah so just start where you are stop procrastinating i will do it tomorrow i will do it next year ah you might end up not doing anything for the rest of your life so stop procrastinating number six lack of persistence most of us are good starters but poor finisher of everything we begin like me sometimes ago that is my that is my situation. That is one of my challenges. But I thank God it has, you know. But you see, people are prone to give up at the first sign of defeat. Don't stop until you get what you want. It doesn't matter how many times you have failed. Don't give up. That is the key. Persist more. 
Number seven, not taking risk. The person who takes no chance generally has to take whatever is left when others are true choosing. You see, over caution is as bad as under caution. We have to guide against both because life itself is filled with elements of chance. So investing your money is how you make more of it. Invest your money today on something good, something that will yield profit, not something that you will just invest in it like those perishable, perishable goods. When you invest your money on them, I'm sorry. But when you invest your money on something good, on something that will yield in the future like land, like building, estates and a lot of things, you will definitely, uh, you will definitely experience financial success. I hope you really enjoyed my video. If you do, please thumbs up, leave your comments, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share with your friends. Let them benefit from it. Talk to you some other time. Bye.